Good morning from Slima. Today we're going to try and get a bus to the walled town of Medina, which used to be the historical capital of Malta. Okay, so we've got a slight change of plan. Um, the boat, the not the boat, the the bus tour, hop on, hop off. Because of COVID, it's every other day now. So the north route, the blue route, which I want us to do, only runs Thursday, Saturday. Today is a Wednesday. So I booked that for tomorrow. But the guys offered me, because <clears throat> I bought the ticket off him, a free harbour cruise. So I'm waiting around now until quarter past 10 to go and do the harbour cruise. And today we're going to explore the three cities, which is over in Valletta and get another ferry then from Valletta over to the three cities. So yes, join me as we try and navigate Malta again. Look at the view. We're passing a quarantine hospital here now and you can hear the captain talk about it. All galleys and ships coming from suspected or contaminated ports were obliged to wander in this creek while the crew and passengers was transferred to the quarantine hospital for a couple of days. When everybody was still alive and healthy after some time, then permission to go ashore was granted. Trying to avoid the quarantine, measure was rewarded with the death penalty. Of course, no one in those days had a clue that the ship's rats were the transporters of the disease, and no one could prevent rats from swimming for sure. Even during the times of British presence in Malta, the rats that was used for quarantine purposes. Black Schooner by the name Black Pearl. It is a bar and restaurant, okay, but this boat has an interesting story as well. It was built in Sweden many years ago, and once it was owned by the famous actor Errol Flynn. In 1979, Black Pearl was used for filming here in Malta, for the shooting of Popeye the Sailor Man, starring Robin Williams. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let us pray, Mr. Winston Churchill, and Admiral Cunningham of the Royal Navy, who are convinced of the strategic importance of the marina, set against the glorious scenic background of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It offers birds for vessels up to one So just got off the harbour cruise, well worth it. Um, 90 minutes around the three harbours, so you go through Salima and then Valletta's Grand Harbour, amazing. Didn't take many selfie footage of me because there was a lot of people next to me. But I hope you um, enjoyed the clips of that I took. Um, well worth it. I think the Cumbi Island was Supreme Cruises and it cost 10 euro, but I managed to get it for free because I booked a bus ticket off them. I'd also recommend doing it first so you get to know the history of the area before you go exploring because I learned a lot of things from the audio that I didn't know before. Oh, one of them. Yeah, I thought you'd hear that noise of a plane dropping. Thank you. just got off the ferry in Valletta and I've just got on a free shuttle bus that's going to take me to the three cities ferry terminal so I'll get the ferry from Valletta across to the three cities it's a free bus and drop shop right outside you. So there we are off the bus, right by the water's edge. Ferry service for Letter Three Cities. As you can see, this one's a lot quieter than the Slima one. So we are going to go to number 17, World War II shelters. Let's go. Merry Christmas. It's a bit overcast today. It was nice blue skies this morning, but that's soon changed. Stopped off for some lunch. Chicken, fillet, and chips on a beer. So we're in the, the city of Sanglia at the moment, which is one of the three cities. And then across the water again is another one. So we'll hopefully try and see all these today. I thought it was going to be chicken breast. So I had my lunch, I'm just trying to walk now. There's a little church up here and hopefully try and find these World War II shelters. I did try and Google it when I had lunch and there was no information on it at all. So hopefully they exist. <laughs> and these steps are killers. Can you guess if it's opened or closed? Closed. Update on the World War II shelters. Couldn't be found anywhere. I've gone up and down this road, double checked the map, triple checked the map, nowhere to be seen. So, yeah, on to the next one. God.
No idea where to next. Update on the shelters. They are down there. Now I need to somehow work out how I'm gonna get down there. And join me as you try and find steps. So this is them. They're all locked off, loads of these. What is the point in having them on a tourist map if you can't go into them? Bloody hell. And now I've got to go back up the bloody mound. Anyway, you get the drift. Roll up. Oh, bird in there. Mission failed. Okay, so that's Singlia then. Next stop, Butchu, which is the second of the three cities. So here we are, walking now to the next city, Burku. They do love a good flight of steps here in Malta. <laughs> Motor hot motor your home to charter that is 260,000 euros per week, not including expenses. Feed chip prediction Bermuda. So, this is what's known as the Knight's Armory built in 1500s as an ammunition store by the Knights of St. John and then during British occupation turned into a hospital. Can't get in though, it's like completely blocked off. I think everything in Malta is just closed to the public unless it's a restaurant. Well the sun's decided to make an appearance again and it is roasting now. This is the, the road back down to the ferry terminal over to Valletta again. And I still have my ticket, return ticket, two euro eighty cents. And then I'll get the shuttle bus back over to the other side of Valletta to get the other ferry back to Salima. And it's COVID test time today. So we'll do that. Hopefully it's negative. So I can fly back to the UK. Ooh. Right, so the ferry's just pulling up over there now, and this is the edge of the waterway. And this is Kospika, Kospia, something like that. The third and final city. Time to head back to Valletta.
arrived at the hospital where they do the COVID tests. It says it closes at five and you need half an hour for your test to come back. So hopefully they'll see me. If not, I'll have to go back tomorrow before my, boat, uh, my bus trip. Here he goes. Because I missed it. <laughs> I'll have to come back tomorrow at half past seven before I get my bus. What's this? Four star hotel. I rushed up here as well, up loads of big hills, sweating. Let's go. Cool.